Section 7 of The Maker of Rainbows. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Maker of Rainbows by Richard Legallian. The Man with No Money. A Fable for Capitalist. Once upon a time, there was a man who found himself, suddenly and sadly, without any money. I am aware that in these days it is hard to believe such a story. Nowadays everybody has money, and it may seem like a stretch of the imagination to suggest a time when a man should search his pockets and find them empty. But this is merely a fairy tale. So, I trust that the reader will help me out by taking so apparently preposterous a statement for granted. The man had been a merchant of butterflies in Ispahan, and though his butterflies had flitted all about the flowered world, the delight of many-tongued and many-colored nations, he found himself at the close of the day a very poor and weary man. He had but one consolation and companion left a strange black butterfly, which he kept in a silver cage, and only looked at now and again when he was quite sure he was alone. He had sold all his other butterflies, all the rainbow wings, but this dark butterfly he would keep till the end. Kings and queens in sore sorrow and need had offered him great sums for his black butterfly but it was the only beautiful thing he had left. So selfishly he kept it to himself. Meanwhile he starved and wandered the country roads, homeless and foodless. His breakfast the morning star, his supper the rising moon. But, sad as was his heart, and empty as was his stomach, laughter still flickered in his tired eyes and he possessed, too, a very shrewd mind, as a man who sells butterflies must. Making his breakfast of blackberries one summer morning, in the middle of an old wood, with the great cages of bramble overladen with the fruit of the solitude, an idea came to him. Thereupon he sought out some simple peasants and said, why do you leave these berries to fall and wither in the solitude, when in the markets of the world much money may be made of them for you and for your household? Gather them for me, and I will sell them and give you a fair return for your labor. Now, of course, the blackberries did not belong to the dealer in butterflies. They were the free gift of God to men and birds. But the simple peasants never thought of that. Instead, they gathered them, east and west, into bushel and hogshead, and the man that had no money, that September morning, smiled to himself as he paid them their little wage and filled his pockets that before had been so empty with the money that God and the blackberries and the peasants had made for him. Thus he grew so rich that he seldom looked at the dark butterfly in the silver cage, but sometimes, in the night, he heard the beating of its wings. End of section 7. Recording by Tom Merritt.